name is Jacob and I'm an applications engineer at Design Point Solutions. Today we're going to share a brief demonstration of the power of parametric and fully associative modeling in SOLIDWORKS. Now you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is parametric and fully associative modeling in SOLIDWORKS? Parametric means that when a dimension of a model is changed, the, ge the geometry of the SOLIDWORKS 3D model is also updated to that changed value. So I created a demonstration part here. I've created an assembly where this part is connected to a mounting bracket. And I've created a drawing that shows this assembly and has several dimensions attached that just show the, um, just the description of the assembly itself. So first I'd like to show changes in the part. So if you look here, I can click on a feature in this part that I've created. And you can see different dimensions that display uh, how we basically how we set up this model to begin with. So you can see here we have a 120 dimension for the length of this tube. If we click on that dimension, we can change that. For example, let's change it to 170. And after we finish that, we can do a forced rebuild by pressing Control Q. And the model itself will update showing the changed part and how the geometry changed. So next, fully associative means that any drawings or assemblies that feature this part itself will also reflect the changes that we made with up-to-date information in real time. So as you can see, we extended this out. And if we switch over to our assembly file, it's noticing this change and is asking us if we would like to rebuild the assembly, which we do. And you can notice that this longer tube on the top is shown here. Similar to that, if we go to our drawing file, it will update this as well, and we can see that this dimension here is one chain is 170, referring to the change that we made in the original part. So lastly, I'd like to show that even if we change the dimensions in the assembly itself, it will also change in part. So let me hop over to this assembly file. If I go into this bottom base plate feature and I expand the sketch used to create this feature. So this 250 millimeter dimension, if I change this to, let's say 400, exit the sketch and rebuild, it will change the part in the assembly. And also if we go over to the drawing file, it will change in here and update the dimension as well. So parametric and fully associated modeling allows engineers to work much more efficiently and effectively, knowing that there is no need for repetitive dimension updating and eliminating the risk of dimensions that do not accurately reflect the model geometry. Thank you for tuning into this video, and I hope you found it a beneficial use to your time, and I hope you learned something. Thanks.